Today we get to do 5-4, solving compound inequalities. So first, before we get started, I'm going to kind of give you an example here. I have a purple circle, a purple square, and maybe like a blue square. And I'm going to give you some directions. I'm going to say, okay, I need you to select the purple square. There's only one answer that works there, right? It's the item that is both purple and square. So your answer would be this green, or I mean, um, this purple square in the middle circled in green. If you did the, the picture on the left, well, it's purple, but it's not a square. The image on the right is a square, but not purple. So you only, your answer is only what fits for both of them. That's important as we go down here to start learning about and inequalities. This is a compound inequality um, where you'll be graphing the intersection of the two graphs. So to start off, let's do number one. You're going to be graphing the two inequalities on the same line to start with. Um, now circles or dots, extra ink, extra ink. Instead of, uh, well yeah, we'll go ahead and color for now I guess. So the green goes all the way over. Now I want you to do the seven. Circles or dots, this one is a circle and it shades to the uh, left. Oops, keeps going. Your final answer is going to be where the two intersect. So my final answer is circle ends with the middle shaded in. Okay, so the gray stuff is my answer. So how would I typically do that? Um, usually what we do is we would just draw an arrow and then we would shade where they're both true. So let's do one uh, more like what you're going to see on your homework today. Number two is actually an and inequality, even though it doesn't say the words and. Here's what you're going to do. Take everything from the, the left side of that first, I'm sorry, of the second inequality sign. This is the first inequality you're going to solve. So negative two is less than x minus three. And the other one that you'll be solving is going to be everything on the right of the first inequality sign. So you'll be solving all of that. X minus three is less than four. So solve each of those. Um, the good news is they're fairly simple. We just have to add three on each of them. Ooh, I don't like it when the variable's on the right. Let's switch that. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to plot both those points, one and seven. Circles or dots, extra ink, extra ink. The one is a circle. It says X is bigger than one. That means I'm going to be shading everything to the right. So I'm just gonna draw a little arrow like that, okay? Notice I didn't color. I just drew that little arrow. Do the same for the seven, and X is less than seven, so I'm gonna want the numbers on the left. So I just draw a little arrow. And then from here, I've kind of split this graph into three different sections, section one, two, and three. I'll be going to each section and asking it um, if it's true or not. So starting over here, do both the one and the seven shade right there? The answer is no. So I'm going to kind of cross it out and move on. Go to the middle section. Can I shade in the middle? Yes, they are both true in the middle. And what about on the right? Are they both true on the right? No, so don't shade. So that's my final answer. Kind of the way I would write that is maybe getting rid of those question marks. There, just like that. So let's try a couple random shaded ones here. I'm going to ignore this stuff up here. Let's say it shades like this. Both arrows are pointing to the left. Does it work for both here? Yes. Here? No. Here? No. Okay, let's try another one. Let's say it shades like this. Does it work here? No. Here? No, it only works for one of them, not both of them. Here? Yes, now it works for both. One more. What if they shade pointing opposite directions? Does it work here? No. In the middle? No. Here? 
No, it didn't work anywhere. So this one's answer is going to be no solution. Now let's go back up. I'm going to change the directions on you. This time I want you to select the shape. I'm back up here. Select the shape that is purple or a square. Purple or a square. That means this time, this one's purple, so it works. This one's a square, it works. This one's purple and a square, it works too. The one that doesn't work is this triangle because it's not purple and it's not a square. Okay. That's the idea down here. Now, here's the thing with ors. Ors will always say or. With an and, sometimes they're going to be kind of sneaky, and they're not going to write it like they did on that problem there. But on ors, it will always say or every single time. Okay, so let's try one. The nice thing about that is that these then are already split, so it's easy to solve. Subtract 7, subtract 7. 13 minus 7 is 7. No, I'm sorry, it's six. I was looking at this other seven and got confused. There we go. All right, divide by negative two. Ooh, stop, did you divide by negative? You sure did, you better switch that sign. Now do this one. crazy with the hat there. All right, that was just solving, so I didn't spend a lot of time explaining that. Um, go ahead and kind of put your two points here. So M is greater than negative three, extra ink, extra ink. That should be a circle shading to the right. One fifth should be a circle shading to the right. So this time you get to shade anywhere that one of them is true. This is gonna be called the union of the graphs. So as I look over here, do they both work? Or do, do either one of them work is what I should have asked. Do either one of them work? No. What about in the middle? Yes. The negative three is working, so I can go ahead and shade it. And actually, since it's an or, I'm just going to keep on shading for infinity, right? Okay, maybe I won't. But I am going to keep shading towards the end of the graph. Just to double check, does the one-fifth work? Uh, or does the right side work? It sure does. So there you go. That would be your answer. So to do a couple random examples, I'm going to not do those ones. Let's say this graph that way. Does it work on the left? Yes. Does it work on the right? Or I'm sorry, in the middle? Yes. Does it work on the right? No. Um, what if I have it shading like this? Oh, there we go. Does it work on the left? Yes. Does it work in the middle? No. Does it work on the right? Yes. One last example. What if it's graphed like this? Does it work on the left? Yes, because this graph is going to let it shade over here. Does it work in the middle? Yes. Does it work on the right? Yes. Ah, oh, this one works everywhere. So the answer to this one is all reals. And the one other way I can write that is by giving that little double line R symbol.